uh, we just, man, we missed out on some really easy opportunities. We kind of just shot ourselves in the foot there uh, in those first couple series, uh, which is a shame because the defense was playing so well and just we were giving them nothing uh, to help. So, you know, a couple series set back by ourselves, um, you know, followed by, you know, some turnovers and it just kind of snowballed. Um, I didn't notice anything to the, the, I think it was, you know, kind of like the final hit that took him out. Um, I mean, he's so tough when he, whenever he comes into the locker or into the, uh, the huddle, you, I, it's really hard for us to tell that he's hurting. Uh, he, he definitely puts on a, a good face. Uh, so I, I know he's going through it though. And, um, you know, hopefully he's, he's not banged up too bad. Kyle, it seems they're really aggressive with some of those blitzes, especially up the middle. You say that you guys left a lot of opportunities on the table. Was that because normally when a team blitzes, you have a chance to make a big play? And then why was it, do you think, that you guys had so much struggle uh, picking them up? Yeah, that's exactly why. I mean, we love when a team blitzes us because, I mean, that means uh, that we have a chance for a really big play. And, you know, we had a couple of those you saw um, later in the game where, you know, Nick made a quick decision, got the ball out really fast. And, um, you know, when there's guys blitzing, that leaves some really big holes down the field. Um, I wish I had a good answer for why um, we weren't capitalizing in the, you know, early on. It's tough because I haven't watched the film yet, but um, I just know that that was a big thing for us is they were heating us up with some blitzes and uh, we just didn't respond to it very well. Uh, you know, no, I, I, I'm not immune to it. Like it, it still hurts, you know, like even though it ha seems to happen just over and over again, guys dropping every game, uh, it, it still hurts each time, man. Uh, so hopeful that we can have, um, you know, at least some of those guys back for Thursday, but, um, Man, I'm so happy that we are playing on a Thursday because after a loss like this, you just want to get the taste out of your mouth. You want to go play football again. So, so happy that we can just turn around and get, um, you know, back on the field in, in just a few days. Um, his big thing was that, I mean, starting now, everything we do uh, has to be to get our bodies ready for, for Thursday. You know, we don't, we don't have that time uh, to, you know, dwell on this one. We, we probably won't even watch it as a team. We'll, you, you know, everyone will watch the game individually. Um, but, I mean, starting right now, it, it's time for Green Bay. Last one. You somewhat addressed this, but you said a few weeks ago that there was still a lot of fight left in this team. Do you still feel that way today after a loss like this? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely still a lot of fight in this team. And I think you saw that um, towards the end of the game. Like, we, we just we wouldn't go away. And, you know, a couple thing, couple more things go our way, and, man, that's a game. You know, if, uh, if we just have a couple more inches and get that, that two-point conversion, that's a one-score game with, I think, four minutes to go. Uh, and we have all the confidence in our world that our defense can go make that stop and we can go down and score and tie it up. So, you know, there's just, there is a lot of little things that, um, you know, maybe they break our way and it, it's a more competitive game, but uh, there's definitely still a ton of fight in this group. All right, thanks, Juice. Hang with us, we got Trent here. Thanks, guys. Trent's